Hi friends, in this video let's discuss how we can achieve class binding in Angular. So initially what we will do is let's create some style elements inside styles.css. If you observe index.html, this is the main HTML content, the display page which we are displaying inside the browser. If you observe link rel equals style sheet href equals styles.css. We have provided link for styles.css so that whatever the styles we are writing inside this CSS file will get used inside this index.html that is a main web page. So let us create some style elements here. Color style class with color red. So in CSS if you are using dot it shows that it is a class element. So if you observe the intelligence here, it is showing as element class equals color style class. So this is a color, this is a class element since we are indicating using dot okay, and we are applying color red. Let us create some more style elements inside this bold style class that is font weight bold. Okay, and similarly, oblique style class. This is font style. What kind of font we want to display? Oblique means it is similar to italics. So, if you observe this font style, you can see the syntax here. Syntax here is it will take these three values normal or italic or oblique. So, I am passing oblique as a font style. Okay, one more that is variant style class that is font hyphen variant. What kind of font I want to display? This is a style of the font I want to display. This is a variant of the font. Variant of the font means this will take different values like uh, small cases if you want to display that is for example small caps. So I want to display my text in the form of capital letters with small small capital letters okay so these four style elements have created inside styles.css so now next job what we need to do is inside app component.ts we need to go to app component.ts inside app component.ts let's create a button button style equals If you want to apply any style directly, we can specify like this. Suppose I want to apply the class that is I want to apply this style element that is color. I want to do this means this is a class that is because it is indicated using dot. So what I will do here is button class equals I need to specify the name of the class which I want to apply that is name of this class is color style class. So I want to apply that color style class for this button element. So I need to pass this value that is color style class, color style class okay and here let us label this button as some value with some value. We can specify that is button 1 for example slash button okay let us save these changes by using control s and in terminal let us give the command npm space start. Now if you observe here the button is getting displayed in red color that is button 1 but it is too small. So let us what let us do is let us increase the size of it that is by using style dot font hyphen size dot px that is equals to 20. So 20 pixel size I want to display the font. Now if you go to the browser and observe the button is getting displayed little larger. Okay. Suppose if you inf inspect this button by using F12. Okay. Inspect this. Here you can see that the class value which is getting displayed for this is color style class. Color style class is used 
here we have mentioned the implementation part that is styles.css we have mentioned that color equals red so this is getting used inside app component.es template for the html content which we want to display on the browser now this is a normal way of using the styles from css to app component.ts now what i need to do is i want to bind the class elements that is class binding i want to achieve here so how we can do that is first what we need to do is we need to specify inside the app component property that is suppose i want to apply bold bold style class i want to apply then let's create some property that is apply bold style class with boolean equals true okay we have created this property now i want to use this property inside the template that is what is called as data binding right whatever the component class properties we want to use inside the template that is the html content that is called as data binding so here class properties i am using that is called as class binding so what i need to do is here after specifying styles dot font hyphen size dot px equals 20 we need to specify which class that is class dot by using dot operator class dot I want to apply which class that is here styles dot css I want to apply bold style class so what I need to do is dot bold style class so class dot bold style class indicates this one which we have already written inside styles dot css this will be equals to this will be equals to the property which we are specifying inside app component properties that is apply bold style class so we need to specify apply bold style class here okay so what i am doing here i am specifying class dot the style which i want to apply that is which is mentioned inside styles dot css let it bold style class will be equal to the component property inside the class which we have specified that is apply bold style class so this is true so what will happen for this button this style will get applied this style means bold style which we have specified inside styles.css will get applied for this that is what this line means now let's save these changes control s and let's observe the browser here see if you see here the button one the text is displayed in bold also it's applied with color as well as bold if you inspect this see here you can see button class equals color style class bold style class both styles are getting applied for this button right this way we are specifying bold style class also which we want to apply for this button next what we are going to do is let's create one more button by using break statement here let's create one more button okay now what i am going to do for this is i want to negate this bold style class means i don't want to apply bold font for this button so how i can do is here i have specified boolean value as true i want to negate this means i want to apply negative value of it that is by specifying exclamatory which shows that bold style class should not be applied for this button element so what i i will change this label to button 2 now i'll save the changes if you observe the browser now see for the second button only color style class is getting applied means the font is not getting displayed in bold because we are using exclamatory mark which will negate this style value whatever the style i want to apply will be negated means it will be ignored only color style will get applied for this this way we are achieving 
class binding by specifying the property inside app component and using this property as a value for class dot bold style class. Bold style class is the style which are specifying inside styles dot css. See, this is the name of it, bold style class. That will be the key and this will be the value component class uh, that, that is app component property. Okay. So, next what we are going to do is let us apply one more style similar to this. Let us copy this button. Okay, Let us put some break here. Let us copy that button. Here what I am going to do is I will apply some other style for this. See instead of class dot bold style class, I will apply some other that is variant style class. Okay. Variant style class that will be equal to the property inside app component. Still I have not created for the variant style class. So let us create that. Apply variant style class boolean equals true okay i have created a property for variant style class also now i'll use this property as a value for this by specifying apply variant style class okay this value i am specifying this property here I am saving the changes by using controllers. Okay, now if you observe the browser, here you can observe the font getting displayed in a different way because the font style is different. Variant font style I am applying for this button. Now if you inspect this, see here you can see that color style class is applied that is red color. Variant style class is also applied. Variant style class is the font, font style which I want to display for this button. Now suppose I have a scenario where I want to apply a set of classes. Set of classes means for the same button I want to apply bold, I want to apply variant style. See all these styles I want to apply, oblique style also I want to apply for it. Okay. In that case how we can do that? Let us see next. So to do that what we need to do is we need to specify here another property that is classes to apply. What are the classes I want to apply? This will be string and here inside this, this string value we need to pass what are the style elements I want to apply. Classes to apply means what are the classes specified inside styles.css I want to apply. I need to specify inside this string value. So, I need to pass these values that is bold style class, oblique style class, variant style class. Okay. So, let us pass those values for this bold style class followed by oblique style class and followed by one more that is variant style class. Variant style class. Okay. So, all these three element style elements I want to apply. So, we are binding these three elements inside a single string so that we can reuse this property inside our template HTML content and apply all these three styles for a single button. I want to apply for a single button all these three style properties. So, how I can do that is let us use break first. Now, let us create a button with button class equals color style class and even I want to make the font big. So, font hyphen size dot px equals 20. Now, here I want to apply all the classes means the classes to apply whatever specified inside the app component properties all these style classes I want to apply for this button. I can do that by using class inside the square brace equals to 
this property name of this property is classes to apply so i need to pass that property here classes to apply by specifying that property there so what will this do this will apply all these properties that is bold style class oblique style class variant style class all these three style properties will get applied for it right and i specify the label for this that is button example 3 okay slash button now i am saving the changes let's observe the browser now here if you observe all these three are getting applied that is font size 20 pixels what are the classes to apply bold style class is getting applied the font is getting displayed in bold oblique style class see the oblique style class is like italicized the font is displayed in the form of it is italicized okay and variant style class variant style class what we are passing here small caps so the font should be displayed in small capital letters so all these three classes which are specified here inside the classes to apply have been applied for this button this way we can apply set of classes set of classes and bind to the template that is a html content for this button this is one way of using class binding that is for single single class i want to apply or set of classes i want to apply i can use this now i have a scenario where i want to apply multiple classes multiple classes i want to apply and i want to handle those classes inside app component properties so how i can do that is by using ng class directive which is specified for angular that is a built in directive ng class directive for applying multiple classes multiple class binding i want to achieve means i need to use ng class directive okay that we will see in the next video thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos you can click on that bell icon to get notifications whenever i am uploading a new video thank you